Welcome to the fourth and final Space A Bootcamp video. Here we'll be discussing the boarding process and tips for arriving successfully. Why would we need to discuss tips for arriving successfully? Well, because it's entirely possible to arrive at your destination unsuccessfully. That is to say, you can encounter all kinds of circumstances that would pose very significant challenges to you if you arrive unprepared. So in this video, I will be giving you some tips to help you arrive prepared and successfully. Now, just to recap the first three videos of the Space A Bootcamp series, the first video focused on research with emphasis on helping you determine your eligibility, your category, as well as where to fly from and to. The second video focused on the sign up process and the different options and alternatives that you have to sign up and formally register for Space A travel. The third video focused on how and when to mark yourself present and how to successfully navigate the roll call process. For this video, I drove down to Travis Air Force Base and it was my intention to do a walkthrough of the public facing portion of the passenger terminal and actually walk you through the entire process and give you an overview of the amenities that are available there. My plan was to give you an overview of the boarding process from check-in to actually boarding at the passenger gate and give you a familiarity with the various services and amenities that are available to make your visit more comfortable. Unfortunately, upon arriving, I observed new signs that said no photographs or videos allowed in the passenger terminal area. When I inquired with passenger terminal staff, I was informed that someone had recently made a video of the publicly facing passenger terminal area and had posted it to YouTube. So apparently, they don't want the publicly facing areas of the various passenger terminals posted to YouTube, except for the many videos that the Air Force has made of the publicly facing portions of the passenger terminals, which they have posted to YouTube. But I am a follower of the rules and I don't want to cause anybody any unnecessary upset. So being the creative rule follower that I am, I will rely on the publicly available video that already exists on YouTube in order to enhance the information I wanna share on this video. Part of the fun of Space A Travel is that every trip is different and every trip's an adventure. You may feel the need to arrive at your passenger terminal early or you may be passing through a passenger terminal and have to spend several hours there. But either way, upon arrival, I suggest you walk around and get familiar with the layout of the amenities and services that are available there in your passenger terminal. Some passenger terminals have showers, some have family rooms, many of them will have small restaurants and food services available. Some of them just have vending machines and it's very useful to find out where things are in the passenger terminals that you're using. These services can make your wait just a little more comfortable. In addition to those amenities, Many passenger terminals have an established USO where you can find a lot of support services and things to keep you engaged and comfortable. Upon arriving, one of the first things you're gonna see is the passenger service counter or PSC. A lot of times it'll have a check-in sign above it. Here, passenger terminal personnel are gonna ask you for all of your documentation, your identification, and they're gonna to check to make sure everything is in order and you're ready to go. They're gonna need your identification and the identification of anyone who's traveling with you. Here they will verify that everything is good to go and that you're not missing anything. Once everything is verified, you'll proceed to roll call. Between the time that you check in at the PSC counter and roll call, normally you'll have at least an hour. Sometimes you might have even more. I recommend that you use this time to find vending machines and pick up snacks and bottled water. It's useful to have purchased a bottle of water because you can drink it while you're waiting. And when it comes time to go through security, you can take the empty bottle through security with you to the passenger gate. Once you get to the passenger gate, you can refill your bottle of water because passenger terminal personnel normally maintain a five gallon container of potable water for exactly this purpose. 
you can use the plastic bottle that you purchased, or if you have your own container, you can fill it at that time and be ready for your flight. Oftentimes here at the passenger gate, there are vending machines where you can buy water, sodas or snacks, but sometimes there may be no vending machines or they may not have been refilled. So it's important that you have those things beforehand. Again, TSA rules prohibit you bringing any fluids through security. So you wanna make sure that you have a container to be able to fill up once you're through security and on the other side. Another recommendation that I would make is that if a meal is available for your flight, always buy the meal. Worst case scenario, you don't eat it and you pack it away in your carry-on and you have it for later. But if you're on a long flight and you don't have snacks and you haven't purchased a meal, you're not going to be particularly happy. And it's not reasonable for you to look to flight crew staff to take care of snacks for and on your behalf. That's probably not going to happen. So let's just back up a little bit. Once you've successfully gotten through roll call and you've been assigned a seat, you'll then proceed to baggage check-in. At that point, your bags will be weighed, you'll fill out your baggage tags, and you'll be issued a boarding pass. It's at that stage that you'll also be offered the opportunity to purchase a meal if one is available for your flight. As far as your baggage is concerned, there's your checked baggage and your carry-on. It's very important that you arrive ready to go. The Air Mobility Command adheres to the TSA rules on baggage. So with respect to checking liquids or carry-on liquids, the TSA rules will be enforced. It's critical that you make certain that you don't have any of the listed prohibited items. And as always, if you have any questions regarding any of these things, it's always best to contact passenger terminals directly. They're gonna be in the best position to answer your specific questions. And now that you've boarded successfully, odds are pretty good that you're gonna be able to actually depart and get to your destination. But let's talk about arriving at your destination successfully because lots of people arrive unsuccessfully. If you're taking a long flight, you wanna make sure that you have something to drink, you wanna make sure that you have snacks and other things to make your trip comfortable. That's why you should always buy a meal when one's an option for you. Also, on long flights, AMC aircraft are cold. You wanna make sure you've dressed in layers and that you're prepared with a light duty jacket. Some more experienced Space A travelers, particularly on long haul flights, have inflatable sleeping mats, lightweight sleeping bags or blankets, uh, allowing them to stretch out when circumstances permit and to sleep, particularly on the long flights. And there's a big difference between those who arrive rested and comfortable and those who arrive hungry, tired, and unprepared. That's not a great way to arrive. Another key to having a successful arrival is understanding clearly what the transportation and logistics options are at the arrival because you want to make sure that you're prepared and ready. There are installations that don't have taxi service. They may or may not have a contracted taxi company that has access to the installation. You may or may not be able to rely on Uber or there may or may not be public transportation. The best source for this kind of information is the passenger terminal itself, as well as the AMC Gram for your destination. Once you arrive at your destination, you're going to want to be able to get efficiently from the passenger terminal to your lodging or to your car rental. You need to do your homework in advance so that you're not tired, hungry, and doing the duffel bag drag. That's no way to arrive. If you've stuck around this long, I'd like to thank you and invite you to hit the subscribe button. That's gonna enable me to keep making videos like this. Also consider hitting the bell button because that'll get you notifications every time I put out a video. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you on the beaches.